Hello, greetings. Uh, this is another little video I'm doing to uh, explain some changes I've made to my website that uh, impact everything on my site. Uh, as you probably know by now, content is uh, spread across three different uh, formats, slideshows, videos, and PDF files. And everything is tailored uh, to work full screen on a 1920 by 1080 pixel screen. So I'm shooting for uh, the best results on a workstation or, a, you know, a nice powerful home uh, PC, an office PC, or maybe a, a, a nice laptop. I have no idea what this looks like on uh, anything smaller than that, like an iPad or an iPhone. And uh, I just do not have the expertise to even begin to try and do that. I know it's possible, but it's not, not something I can do. So uh, that's it for this slide. It's not very exciting, but uh, everything now is tailored to work full screen. And I'm going to show you how to do that for those three different categories of content, slideshows, videos, and PDF files. So when you arrive at my website, you're going to be seeing something like this. So you've got a bunch of clutter up at the top of the screen. And then under that, you have the blue uh, a banner that has my drop-down menus. And then below that is going to be where the content sits. If we scroll across with our mouse, to HeliCycle uh, helicopters, then that right hand menu will drop down and it gives you a choice of PDF slides, videos, oh, and builder logs. I haven't mentioned that. I've got uh, something like 350 pages of video lo or, uh, builder logs there. So if you're building a HeliCycle, uh, I know people have found that useful. The uh, FAA certainly liked it when I went in there to get my uh, get my uh, blessing from the local FISDO office. I had a giant binder with all this stuff in it. So all of that is available uh, in PDF form. And uh, I'll, I'll show you how, how you can look at that uh, and make it look pretty nice uh, as we go. So as we scroll down to slides, then all of the slides will, will pop out on the left, as you see. And then I've gone uh, sideways uh, to the left, and I've selected the first one, my HeliCycle uh, N750 Golf. And so that will then uh, present you with page one of that particular slideshow. So far, it's exactly the way my website's been for a long time. However, now you've got a little icon in the upper right just below the, uh, the menus. And that is signifying an expanding rectangle. And if you click it, this is what happens. You go to full screen mode. So this, I think, is a huge improvement things really look good on a big monitor in full screen mode. And you see that icon is still there, but now it's showing a collapsing rectangle. So you probably can guess that that icon will toggle back and forth in and out of full screen mode. It will always be there for any, uh, any slideshow that you watch on my website. And since we're sli sitting on slide number one, your only option down at the lower right is to go to the next slide. You can't go to the previous slide because there isn't any. However, if we hit next, now we're on slide number two. Actually, this is slide three, but that doesn't matter. So we're somewhere in the middle, and now you can go backwards and forwards by clicking the next or the previous buttons in the lower left and right. And again, there's your icon up at the upper right to toggle you in and out of full screen mode. That's what it would look like if you hit that icon. You're still in the slideshow, but you're out of uh, full screen mode. Click it again and you go right back where you were. 
And so eventually, if you go all the way to the end of the slideshow, there is no more next. You're on the last slide. And that next is replaced by uh, an icon that says menu. You can click that and it will take you right back where you were out of uh, full screen mode and you'll have access to the menu. You could do the same thing by clicking the collapsing uh, rectangle icon up in the upper right. They both do the exact same thing. And so if you did either one of those two, here we are back exactly where you started when you came to my website. And that's it for uh, slideshows. It's pretty simple. Videos is almost identical. The only thing is the icons in a different place. So if you select a video, you'll be presented with a still of the beginning of the video. Uh, in this case, I've actually just frozen it partway through. This particular video starts with me on the ground, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, so there's your play button right in the middle under the helicopter. If you click it, the video will start. It will look like this. This is the way it's been uh, since day one on my website, pretty much. And down at the bottom, you've got your control panel. And you can do all the usual things. I won't bother uh, explaining it because I'm sure everybody uh, on Earth knows how, uh, how that stuff works on YouTube. The same uh, icon now is in the lower right instead of the upper right. So it's, it's saying if you click it, it's going to expand that rectangle. And this is what happens. Now you're full screen uh, video. And in the case of videos, as well as the PDFs that you're going to see in a minute, the control panel will go away if there's no cursor movement. Uh, it will time out and disappear. All you've got to do is wiggle your cursor, and you'll end up with the control panel back on, on the bottom of the screen. Uh, nothing happened to the video. This is just a different uh, part of the same video you were looking at where the, the cameraman zoomed way in. So we haven't expanded the screen or anything. It's exactly as it was, except wiggling the cursor would bring that menu back, uh, which will allow you to do all the usual things. Pause it, play it, back it up, go forward, etc. And there's our little uh, icon in the lower right and it will always be there. So same thing, you can go in and out of full screen mode, except it's in a different spot. If you go all the way to the end of the video, YouTube is going to present you with some random choices from my YouTube channel. There's no way to shut this off. The only choice is you either uh, limit the, the uh, suggestions to your own channel or it will just randomly send you off to God knows where and uh, you'll never be seen again. So if you've gone to the trouble to get to my website, I don't want you to leave. I want you to stick around for a while. So uh, if you click any of these things, at least you're still on my channel. Uh, you may be watching something that I didn't bother to put on my uh, website because I thought it was obsolete or I've already covered it somewhere else. Uh, and also, you will no longer be on my website. You will then be on uh, on uh, YouTube. And to, so to get back, you'll have to use the, uh, the back arrow on the upper left of your screen. So that's how that works. Last but not least are PDFs. Um, right now, I've, I'm having some issues with my PDF files. Uh, I have not figured this out. I've been struggling with it for weeks. Uh, some of them work just fine. Some of them uh, I cannot get to go full screen mode, and I don't know why. So I'm, I'm struggling to sort that out. The ones that are working at the moment are leaving my website and they're going off to, uh, in this case, I'm using a Google Chrome uh, browser. And you can see by the URL up there, it's going to Google Chrome extension. Uh, and then it looks like just uh, 
uh, Adobe Acrobat extension on Google Chrome. So I don't know whether this is a, a built into my browser or what's going on. I, I don't know. But uh, to get back, you're going to have to use that left arrow key in, in the, uh, not a key, but the left arrow on the upper left. Um, and as I mentioned with the videos, the control panel will go away if there's no mouse activity. But all you got to do is wiggle your mouse around and the little control panel will pop back up. The only things I've played with are the plus and the minus buttons, which do exactly what you expect. They expand or contract the size of the page. But I believe that the down arrow on the left probably is to download the file so you can save it on your hard drive. Um, I think one of those on the right may be print, maybe. And one of the other ones might be rotate 90 degrees, something like that. I haven't actually played with those, but um, they're pretty useful. And I like the fact that you can uh, hit the plus key a couple of times and you can expand the, uh, the uh, page out as wide as you want. So you can zoom in on, on uh, something if you want to take a closer look. So that's it. That's the end of this little thing. I'm trying to get everything across my entire website to all work exactly the same. Uh, it's a lot of work and it's, I'm not quite there, but that's what I'm doing. So uh, please come back and uh, visit and uh, send me an email. Let me know what you think. Is this stuff working for you? Do you like it or does it look awful on your computer? I have no idea unless you tell me. So thanks for visiting. And uh, that is the end of this little video.